Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and today we have something a bit different on the menu. We're going to be checking out the INUNF from Kali Audio. And you might be curious, what the hell is an INUNF, what now? Ultra Near Field Studio Monitor System. Hold on, studio monitor system? Does that mean I can't game on it? Is it just for use in studio and all whatnot? This one is capable of a whole lot more than just studio work. It's fantastic for playing games on, it's fantastic for enjoying your favorite tunes, but first, let's pop open the box and you'll see exactly what I mean. Full disclosure, Kali Audio did send this out to me for review, but they're not giving me a script, they're not telling me what to say, no money has exchanged hands, they get no editorial input whatsoever, no preview, they're seeing everything at the exact same time you are. My thoughts are 100% my own. Instructions, I know exactly what to do with the... Not this time. Not this time, gentlemen, because you see the instructions here are actually relevant. It's gonna tell you exactly how to set up the system to get the best sounding audio. Do not throw them away and pay attention to the instructions in the quick start guide. Next up, what do we got? Silica gel, fantastic, don't eat it. Do I really need to tell you to don't eat it? Hopefully not. USB Type-C, because you can connect this one to your laptop or to your gaming system or to whatever system via USB Type-C quite nicely and quickly. Next up, long and thick power cable just like shield. And these should be the stands. Yes, these are the stands for the INUNF left and right speakers. These allow for a great range of motion to get that optimal position for your left and right speakers. If you've been using studio monitors before, you know exactly what I mean by the perfect position. And if you haven't, well, let me give you a crash course. If you don't have your speakers in the correct position, you're not going to get the optimal audio. It's as simple as that. I have been using Kali Audio for quite a while now. I'm using them essentially every day for content creation and for enjoying music and not only, and they have served me quite well. And they came at a steal of a price. These are their LP6s Wave 1. Today, however, we're gonna be focusing on this puppy right here. Get, get, get it, get, get, get. A few moments later. And finally, the two speakers and a subwoofer, right? This is not a subwoofer. This, my friends, is a base station. All right, fine, what is the difference between a subwoofer and a base station? This has two woofers which are opposing each other, canceling each other out when it comes to vibration. This base unit is meant to stand on your desk and Kali Audio promises you're not gonna get any vibration whatsoever, which is absolutely fantastic. So essentially, this one becomes part of your setup on your desk, especially useful if you don't have a whole lot of space to work with. And here's the base unit right out of the packaging and there's two things that we need to talk about. This would be number one. You have your dip switches here and I know that for a lot of you these things may be a little bit intimidating. Dude, dip switches? What, what are all those buttons for? Essentially using these dip switches you can calibrate your audio to sound perfect depending on the position that you have the base unit and the system in. It's very easy to understand. You see this little QR code here. As soon as you point your phone at it you're going to be redirected to Kali Audio and you're going to have yourself a nice Nice and quick guide on which tip switches to flip. Should I flip this one, the other one and all whatnot. For the best audio you need to have these set correctly. You got USB Type-C if you want to keep it nice and simple, an optical input right here, TRS for the more professional of you out there and a 3.5 millimeter jack. On the other side you have yourself your woofer, your power connection and your on off switch. Now don't connect this one to on until you have your power in and this is how you're going to be connecting to the side speakers. On the other side you have a sleep button so essentially you can put this one to sleep without having to turn it off and this will be a volume control. Now I recommend you keep it at zero. It does have a notch and honestly this one feels quite nice, quite premium to the touch. Keep it for the start at 0 dB and see how you like the sound. The connection between the two speakers and the central base unit is by banana plugs and again this might seem a little bit intimidating to you. You're probably just used to 3.5 millimeter jacks but there's no reason to fear the banana. You simply plug it in like so. And now we're all set up and ready to go. We got the base station on the desk because I want to see if indeed it does actually create any vibration or not. And we got these beautiful side speakers to the left and to the right. The whole installation process took me about maybe 15 minutes. And as soon as I plugged in the USB Type-C, the computer recognized it automatically. No pain, no fuss, no muss, and no drivers installed either. Here's the thing. As soon as I started these, I wanted to test their claim regarding that, hey, there's no vibration because... I'll be honest with you, I didn't completely believe it. I mean, you can't have thumping bass without vibration. It just, the two don't really go together, but <laughs> they actually did it. And it's freaky because you feel the thumping bass 
but there's no vibration anywhere. And to prove this, we're going to be taking this thing. We're going to put it right on the middle. And you should be able to see the liquid moving. And I'm going to go to NCS. No copyright sound, so we don't get copyrights right. And I'm going to play the bass boosted song. You guys should know this one. It's a pretty popular song. Check it. <laughs> Volume is at 80% right now, so hopefully my neighbors won't whine, but it's it's basically creating almost no vibration whatsoever. There is no inconsistency in how the desk feels. It's honestly freaky. They did it. They really, really did it. Now, when it comes to audio quality, please do not judge audio quality by what you're hearing through the phone's microphone and then compress by YouTube some more. When it comes to audio, if you really want to get the lay of the land and see how something sounds, you're going to have to experiment for yourself. It's as simple as that. I can get you a recording via a boom mic or via a studio mic, but it's still not going to be the way it's supposed to sound. You're still not going to get that full experience unless you get to try it for yourself. Before we get into some actual gameplay, what exactly can you put on this base unit? And it's mostly everything, though do keep in mind there are still magnets inside, so that means you're not going to be putting your laptop on it. Do not put your laptop on it. Do not put your laptop on it. Outside of that, you can put up pretty much whatever you want, including a display. So if you want to mount your display so you no longer have the need for an actual display mount like I do, definitely mount it right on top of it. You can put all sorts of stuff like, I don't know, your accessories or whatever else. Let's talk about something that immediately jumped at me as soon as I started the game. Essentially sound separation, how clear everything sounds, how exactly I know that from the right side there's some kind of gobble coming at me or on the left side some loot dropped on the ground, the clinkety clink of the actual weapon dropping on the ground. Of course, things like these are made to help you monitor your audio better. These are fodder in part for audio professionals looking to monitor their mix, but it helps a lot in gaming as well. Without trying to get too technical, the spatial awareness of everything is fantastic. You can tell exactly what is coming from where. But do keep in mind what you gotta do is set up the two speakers really well. Try to play around with them. Kali gives you a template so you can use that as a starting off point and then simply sit in your ideal position and move them around a little bit. Either the angle or the position how far they are away from you and try to get the optimal sound like that. Trust me, you'll know it when you hear it. Yeah, that's an experience. That's totally a different experience than what I had on this setup before. These two guys are absolutely insanity. I love it and I love the fact that nothing is rumbling. This thing right here can be quite useful if you do not have the space. This works tremendously well. Essentially, the level of performance I'm getting is similar to 6.5 inch studio monitors. Now, 6.5 inch studio monitors are fantastic, but they take up so much goddamn space and you simply might not have that. If you don't have the space, essentially this provides that, but with a lot, and I mean a lot more bass. So who is this for? Young professionals, essentially. If you fancy yourself a fantastic gaming experience and you wanna create some music as well, the ability to monitor your mix and you don't have a whole lot of space in your room, then this is definitely the way to go. Now what you gotta bear in mind is that my room is not treated, it's not acoustically treated, so I'm getting all sorts of sound bouncing off of everything, but even so, because these are ultra near field, they are essentially at arm's length away from me, I am getting everything I need to. ...with the Strun and the Latron, I mean, talk about some serious competition. But after testing this one today, I am impressed with what it's capable of. Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're going to be diving deeper into the Incarnate Furious. I'm going to have an endgame setup for you fantastic veterans yeah. out. Essentially, all the small plisks, the S's, the saliva going around your mouth or the small precipitation when you talk, all the small imperfections. God, if I'm going to hear myself on these, I'm going to hate my audio and I'm going to have to redo it a whole lot more often. That's 
the point of studio monitors. They need to give you the true sound so I know exactly what I need to cut out, what I need to go back in, re-record and so on and so forth. Now, granted, I am used to this audio signature, I want to say, because I am using Holly Audio and I have been using and I will continue to use them. This is fantastic if you're looking to get into true audio, a more flat experience. And by flat, I mean, it's pretty hard to explain in the sense that if you've been using normal speakers before, you gotta bear in mind that these are tuned to sound a specific way. A flat experience is how the artist meant for you to hear the mix or the sound effect or the whatever else, it doesn't really matter. So if you're looking for something a bit more flat, a bit more, as the professionals say, honest, okay, that would honest means do they give you honest audio then these definitely will do the job and again I still feel a little bit taken aback by the fact that there's no vibration here except when I go to really high levels just a very very tiny amount nothing more than my normal speakers would give me essentially this is really a great experience overall and I love the sound signature but again I am used to the sound signature of Kali Audio essentially this is it but with a lot more bass and a bit more clarity better sound stage essentially I can identify what is coming from where a bit more easily with these and they take up a lot a lot less space I mean you can use this even on a small desk you can use this as a stand for your display honestly this has been a pretty good experience I was fully expecting it just to be another 2.1 system right marketed differently that's not true this is quite nice and my gripes well I do have a couple but they have nothing to do with the sound the sound is amazing but what I would have loved to see longer cables when it comes to the two side speakers also this bass idea this bass idea is phenomenal because it allows me very easily to move the position of the speaker so i can get it in that perfect position without having to get up mess around with the stand get my allen wrench and so on and so forth this is fantastic i love it but the problem is because they're made out of silicon they pick up dust and everything really quickly and it's hard to keep them clean they permanently look like they're a little bit dirty so to that end if they were made out of plastic on the outside but silicon just on the inside the part that makes contact with the actual speaker i think that would have been absolutely fantastic also i would love to see one in white so you have a bit of option when it comes to matching to your system and the last thing an angle cable an angle power cable would be fantastic again angled outwards angled to the back so you have an easier time hiding the cables but outside of that there's really not a lot to complain about. And if you're going to be comparing the price of this one to some good, actually good studio monitors that take up a whole lot more space, then, well, I think you should definitely give this one a try. If you're ready for sound which is a bit more true, a bit more grown up, let's say, definitely check out Kali Audio. I'm going to leave you a link in the description down below. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.